it's a it's a great learning environment uh, for you know, people of all ages, you know, diversities, backgrounds, what have you. You know, it's a, comparably, I think it's one of the nicer schools to. We're in a nice neighborhood, you know, there's a great staff here, and, you know, student-wise, you know, kids are pretty fantastic. Uh, so, you know, I, I really push them to make a good choice for themselves, you know, in accepting the fact that, you know, we're a uniform school, first and foremost. Uh, there's a lot of benefits, I think, of being in this school community, and I would really press upon people, you know, give it an opportunity to be here, they should really take it up and, uh, you know, throw themselves into our school community, and, uh, you know, like everything else, you know, make it a little bit better. It's, it's a great place to be, it's a good place to learn. The fourth school I worked at in the last five years, uh, and they're all quite different. One thing I noticed about UFA is that uh, a lot of the activities outside of class are run by students. So, for example, grade eight currents night or curriculum night or um, other nights when we have visitors come to the school or uh, events like girls' night are run by students, which is a great leadership opportunity for students. I'd say this community is very diverse and it's very student led. Uh, there's a lot of interaction between grades, and with the help of the Wednesday program, it makes it a unique environment for us to be in. It's community different are um, a whole bunch of things, but the biggest one for me are the Wednesday sessions. And I think that it is phenomenal that we can have grade nines teaching things to uh, grade twelves, to teachers, um, that the grades are mixed that um, teachers lead, students lead, I think it provides amazing opportunities for leadership and um and grade 11 English and BTT for the grade nines which is like an integrated business technology. Physical education and math courses at our high College. Um, Spirit of Inquiry, Democracy, Social Justice, and I always leave one out. Hmm, 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 hmm. Did I say them all? Oh, Community of Learners, the whole thing. We are a community. I think that's the biggest one for me, is the Community of Learners, because it really is about being part of a community. A combined morning session that was a tech support group with the Environmental Alliance. Um, the Environmental Alliance was then taught by another teacher, so that gave me some relief. I also did a programming competitions preparation one in the afternoon, and then in the last session, I managed to squeeze in a little songwriting session. UFA's ultimate goal is to um, create a group of critical and analytical thinkers um, who make good choices for themselves uh, in terms of um, their lifestyle, their everything, everything about um, being part of a community. Um, I think I'd also like to say that um, they are people who build knowledge and understanding um, in the communities in which they will live and work. Knowledge. Um, Spirit of Inquiry, Democracy, Social Justice, and, oh, Community of Learners, the whole thing, we are a community. I think that's the biggest one for me, is the Community of Learners, because it really is about being part of a community. Worded, difficult, what does it represent? I mean, it. the point of, I'm gonna talk more about the point of having a uniform, which yeah. is um, so that the focus is not on the outside, but what's on the inside. Um, so that we're concerned with uh, how you're thinking, how you're behaving your actions, rather than what you're wearing, who made it, and where you bought it. So that's gonna be my answer for the uniform. programs provide students with an opportunity for leadership and to show skills and build skills um, that are used in a classroom and outside the classroom and out in the world. So it's part of the uh, skill set for life that you get out of Wednesdays. Physical education and math courses at our high school. You can't, you can't be well in the mind if you're not well in the body, and you know, you will get people that will argue that, and you know, sadly, I mean, I think it's a, it's a lack of 
understanding really when you start trying to say that I can get by without being physically active or without being physically fit, physically healthy. You, know, you have to make an effort at what you eat and how you get your exercise. The benefits, of course, is that you know you're going to feel better about life in general. You know by having a balance of exercise and, and a good diet, so to speak, and that will go to impact you in your classes. You know you won't be as irritable in the mornings. You know maybe a little bit easier for you to kind of get up and moving. Um, but the health benefits, you know, of getting a good diet, good exercise, um, are paramount, and that trickles down to your performance in your classroom activities. It's, it's, it's essential that you're finding a balance of exercise and diet. You know, such that your actions in your classes, I think, are going to receive the benefit of that. Uh, I do math help. Uh, I do music sessions as well. I run that uh, guitar jam, so to speak. It's a matter of you know, kind of getting some kids interested in rock and roll, the blues. Uh, you know, also kind of trying to connect people with other, you know guitar players with other guitar players and, and plus I like to learn uh, from some of our students who are you know, exceptionally talented. Uh, you know, it's interesting that they can come in and kind of show me you know, this old, old cat some new tricks, which is great. You know, it's the only way you can really improve yourself is by playing with other people. Uh, and then I offer lots of sports, soccer, uh, basketball, ball hockey, volleyball, you know, weight training, whatever, you know, whatever there is, whatever the demand is really for, I like to offer. But I mean, I have my, I mean, everyone I think knows me as a soccer person in any so I mean, it's kind of one of those, one of those great benefits, you know, to the Wednesdays. I can run something that's really interesting to me, but hopefully my enthusiasm kind of spread out to the other kids as well. But I would say primarily those are the three things that I, three or four things that I We're a small school, so I mean, we don't have the same population to drive from, uh, which is one. And we also have a really integrated sense of, you know, like le grade levels is what I'm trying to say. Uh, in your Wednesday sessions, you know, you'll mix and match with grade nines and grade twelves, you know. So in some cases for sport, we offer varsity sports, right? And I have to say that there is a pretty good community feel to all of our sports teams that we are offering, whether they are varsity or whether they are junior or senior level type. And I think that's what makes Ursula Franklin very unique for sports is that we have this diverse mix of grades, you know, whether or not it actually applies directly to the sport. I think that kids are going to gain from, you know, working with each other, you know, whether it's Wednesday sessions or just random pickup events at all. So I think that goes to benefit the school population. I try to really focus on a lot of collaboration in my English classes, so I get students uh, working together right from the very first class and do a lot of discussion and collaboration in class so that students have an opportunity to learn from each other and teach each other and ideally it's more fun and interesting. Sessions. So this last session I did a double Harry Potter session and then there was a embroidery thread friendship bracelet. I've done one on Hunger Games, Origami, Drama Games, Mahjong, um, some poetry, uh, philosophy, um, 80s alternative British rock music. Um, so a pretty broad selection. courses do you teach in UFA? That's a complicated question. I teach right now grade 10 programming, grade 11 programming, grade 12 programming, grade 11 interdisciplinary, and a grade 9 math. Earlier in the year I also was teaching a B to T course. combined morning session that was a tech support group with the Environmental Alliance. Um, the Environmental Alliance was then taught by another teacher so that gave me some relief. I also did a programming competitions preparation one in the afternoon and then in the last session I managed to squeeze in a little songwriting session.